Hi, this is Barbara Amodi. I'm going to do a little video for you today on how to do a crossover V. This technique is in my book, but a reader contacted me and asked me to do a video, which I think is a really good idea for visual learners. So I'm going to run through this today, not complicated, very easy, and absolutely foolproof. You don't put a stitch in your fabric until you've made sure that you've organized everything properly. I just want to show you a couple of samples of this V. These are some dresses of mine that I have uh, used this technique. You'll see it is nice and smooth, there aren't any puckers. I only used a couple of pins and I didn't worry about it at all while I was doing it. So there is another one. There's actually the same pattern, the same dress. Um, you can see how neat it is and how flat. And it looks complicated, but it's very easy. So, your steps. Your first step is to get the garment ready. And you get your, I don't know what that is. That's a little, a little bit of, I don't know, stuff left over from flowers. We won't worry about that. It's not a horticultural video. So the shoulder seams are sewn. You've cut out the V, you've cut out your band, and you've cut out your band a couple of inches longer than necessary. I would say two to three inches, so you have something to hold on to. In terms of prep, if you look inside here, the shoulder seams, the shoulder seams have been reinforced so they won't stretch and wear. This is some lengthwise fusible knit that has been ironed and then the seams have been surged. The other bit of prep that I have done is rather than stay stitching, which can be tricky, is I have ironed a small piece of fusible interfacing, a square, to the point of the V. Now, to get this thing started, very easy. You take the band, a woman's band crosses over right to left, a man's from left to right. So this is for me. So the band is pinned and then stitched. The stitching will start, a seam allowance below the point of the V, and I have pinned it without stretching one to one all the way along the side of the neck. When I hit the shoulder seam, I stretched it because so it will cup a bit in the back of the neck, and then pinned it flat down the other side. What is important to note here is see how big the gap is. I have pinned it and stopped and stitched it and stopped a good two and a half inches uh, above the point of the V, and there's a real reason for that. So again, it's stitched, we stop there, and then the next stage is then you clip. You clip to the stitching. One of my rules is it's easier to clip to stitches than it is to stitch to clips. So when this is done, what you need to do is have a picture in your mind about how you want this thing to look. So what do I know? I know that I, this is a crossover, that that band has to be tucked under. So I tuck it under. I know that I need the seam allowance tucked under, so I tuck the seam allowance under. I then take the remaining band that is long, so I have something to work with, and I know that has to go underneath, so I put it underneath. And then, in a really leisurely way, because I don't want anyone to be stressed with sewing, you just arrange it, make sure there's a the band's the same on each side. You arrange it with your hands till it looks the way you want. And then you put in a pin. After that, your job is to then just stitch right across there through the seam allowance and through the band, just, to set, just basically closing that seam and stopping at the point of the V. And if you're a little, it's really easy to do because you can feel it. See, I've got all those layers there and I'm just stitching straight across. Here's one where that's been done. We'll go and look inside. 
see we have the pink stitches which is my first line of stitching and then I've completed it I've done that in blue that leaves me of course with this little bit here that can be tacked down by hand or you can just hold those layers and just stitch it it doesn't even need to be on top of the same stitching just stitch it to that seam allowance to hold it and when you're done this is what you have see isn't that nice and you can see here how I have just completed that stitching and stitched it to the other seam allowance and that's it it's a very simple way of doing a V neckline. Nothing can go wrong because you don't do any stitching until you, you really put it all into position with your hands. It is a great neckline, obviously, for any, as a substitute for any other kind of a V. You can add it to children's garments. I often do for things like pajamas, so it's not too binding around their neck. If you have any questions, you can contact me through my uh, blog at uh, barbaramodi.com. You can also sign up there for my free weekly sewing newsletter where I drill down to basic topics uh, for new and returning sewers, all the things that maybe aren't in your pattern instructions. And if you have a sewing emergency or something that you really can't figure out, you can also book a free 30-minute um, FaceTime or Skype session with me because my uh, mission in life right now is to get more people sewing. Thank you.